If you're looking for a spiritual journey, look no further than Moldovan monasteries. Moldova is home to over 50 monasteries, each with its unique architecture and stories. These monasteries are a testament to the deep-rooted faith of Moldovan society. The monasteries of Moldova are not just beautiful, they are also deeply spiritual places that offer a sense of serenity and peace to all who enter. Deep in the heart of Moldova lies one of the country's most enchanting sites the Capriana Monastery known for its unique history and magnificent architecture. Founded in the 15th century, this sacred institution served as a crucial center for religious, cultural, and educational activities for over 500 years. Its stunning frescoes and paintings bring to life the rich history and culture of the region. So by the legend, uh, Capriana Monastery is called Capriana just because uh, one of our kings was hunting in the forest. So he was uh, using the arrow and when he shot it uh, from the arch, he uh, killed the animal, the capra properly. So he was so sad about this, he decided to build the monastery in the place uh, he killed the animal to glorify uh, the animal, let's say, and prove his uh, belief to the god. That's why it's called Capriana. Mm -hmm. Focus point for today is Hinku Monastery. We've been visiting already Capriana. Hinku as a territory is the largest monastery. And uh, comparing with that one, this is a monastery of nuns. This beautiful religious complex is located in the northwestern region of the country, surrounded by dense forests. The monastery was founded in the 17th century and it is considered one of Moldova's jewels, hidden away from the bustling cities. The architectural style is a mix of traditional Moldovan and Byzantine influences. Fort Monastery is one of the oldest monasteries of Moldova, for dating back on the 18th century, as any other monastery is having the summer church, which is a brighter color, it's red as you see here, and the winter church, which is a white color. So Kurk Monastery is uh, considered so-called state monastery, because quite often we have presidents uh, coming here. This is a way they show people that... Uh, they are closer to people, they are also Christians, let's say. And uh, in the Soviet times, uh, uh, this monastery was transformed to the psychiatrical hospital, activating till the collapse of the Soviet Union by 1991. And since, since that time till today, they are having the reconstruction of the monastery, and now perhaps it's looking one of the most, uh, as one of the most luxury monasteries in Moldova. Old Orhei Monastery was founded in the late 13th century and was once home to over 100 monks. Today, it stands as a testament to the spiritual and architectural achievements of medieval Moldova. Terry's walls are adorned with precious frescoes and ornaments that have stood the test of time. Each painting tells the story of the faith and devotion of those who created Hey guys, this is uh, one of the sightseeing places of Holdorhe, the famous uh, cross. So what uh, often Moldovans do, you have to approach the cross to put the hand in the center and uh, to think simultaneously about any dream or wish you have. And uh, we believe that your wishes sooner or later will come true. So Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our adventures. Until next time.